Xiaomi recently started rolling out the first official MIUI 11 beta on some of its smartphones. Based on Android 10, this new skin from the company packs in a bunch of cool features and we had the opportunity to test it out on one of our Xiaomi phones. The new Android skin will roll out to a number of popular phones over the next couple of months and while some older phones might not receive the Android 10 variant, the feature set is expected to remain mostly the same. So if you are rocking a fairly recent Xiaomi device, this video is just for you. Hey guys, this is Abhijit from Guiding Tech and in this video, we will take a look at some cool new features coming in MIUI 11. So let's get right to it, shall we? Kicking things off is a new feature coming to the ambient display on a couple of high-end Xiaomi phones. With this feature, you will be able to set up a cool of special effects on the ambient display. You can easily find this feature by searching for special effects in the settings app and you can customize the effects from the following screen. There are three different effects to choose from and Xiaomi might add more by the time the stable version rolls out. Next up, let's talk about the enhanced global dark mode. Much like most of the Android skins these days, Xiaomi has included a dark mode on MIUI. But there's one additional global dark mode setting this time around which you should also check out. You can find this setting within the display option in the settings menu. Just tap on dark mode and then turn on the toggle next to the global dark mode option in the following menu. Once it's turned on, you'll notice that the dark mode also starts working on a few third party apps that don't include support for dark mode by default. Not only is this setting great for your eyes, it will also help you save some precious battery life if you're rocking a phone with an AMOLED display. Since we are on the subject of saving battery, let's take a look at another battery centric setting Xiaomi is included in MIUI 11. The new ultra battery saver can be found within the battery and performance settings and once you turn it on, the OS will restrict most power consuming features. It will also decrease your device's performance to leave just basic functionality like calls and SMS available for use, which ensures that your phone lasts as long as possible. This particular setting can really come in handy when your phone's almost out of battery and it will help you squeeze out another couple of hours before it finally dies on you. While we are in the battery and performance settings, you might also want to check out the automated tasks feature. This feature works quite a lot like the popular Tasker app and allows you to set up context-based tasks on your phone. For instance, if you want to turn on the airplane mode on your phone at a specific time, all you need to do is tap on the plus icon in the bottom right corner, add the time you want the task to happen by tapping on add condition, and then select airplane mode by tapping on add action. Once you are set, tap on the check mark in the top right corner and you're good to go. Your phone will automatically switch to airplane mode at the specified time every single day. Pretty cool, right? Now, if you jump into the settings menu within the battery and performance options, then you will notice another new feature called scenarios, which will also help you conserve battery when you're not using your phone. Yep, that's right, another battery saving measure. Once you have this feature turned on, MIUI will detect when you are sleeping and it will automatically disable all background apps, turn off Bluetooth and mobile data and it won't even wake up the screen for incoming notifications. Next up, there's the new screen time feature, which is essentially Xiaomi's own take on Google's digital well-being. You can find the feature within the settings app and it will give you a detailed overview of your device's usage statistics. On top of that, you'll also be able to set screen time limits for your device and specific apps, which can really come in handy if you're actively trying to decrease the amount of time you spend on your smartphone or within a specific app. Now let's move on to another cool customization feature that will allow you to change the way notifications look on your device. MIUI 11 gives you the choice to use stock Android-like notifications on your phone. And I'm really glad that Xiaomi finally introduced this option because I am not a big fan of MIUI notifications. To switch between the notification styles, open up the settings app and then tap on notifications. In the following screen, tap on notification shade and then choose the type of notifications you want. Simple, isn't it? Well, that's not all. In the same menu, you'll also be able to customize the notification folder settings that will allow you to hide all unimportant notifications in a separate folder. This will ensure that the notifications shade remains clutter-free even if you get a ton of notifications from a bunch of different apps. 
Next up, let's talk about Game Turbo, another cool new addition that you will find within the special features section in the settings app. The feature works pretty much like the gaming mode on most of the phones and gives you access to all your games from the same screen. On top of that, you can also check your CPU and GPU usage on the fly and turn on other useful features that will help you improve the gaming performance of your device, including the game speed booster, in-game shortcuts, notification settings, and more. Rounding things off is the lift to open front camera gesture and that's a handy addition for those of you who click a lot of selfies. You can find the setting within the special features section under front camera effects. Just tap on the toggle next to the lift to open camera option and now you'll be able to easily open the front camera with a simple gesture. To use it, head back to the home screen, lift the phone and look at the screen. Well, that sums it up for this video. What do you think about these cool new MIUI 11 features? Do you think Xiaomi should have added something more? Well, share your thoughts in the comments below and make sure to hit the like button if you like the video. This is Abhijit signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.